The internet is a weird place, my friends, but garden internet is sometimes even weirder. Oh dude, no, I don't wanna see this. I already don't wanna even watch this video. And a lot of it looks convincing, but maybe isn't as true as it seems. So today, both Jacques and myself, Kevin from Epic Gardening, are gonna put our heads together with our over a decade and a half of gardening experience and either debunk or give these gardening tips the green stamp. Kicking it off with what looks to be a wine bottle filled with water turned upside down and jammed into the garden, what do you think? I think this works great. I mean, the idea is that you add the water to the bottle, you could jam it in there, and then over some period of time, it comes through and sort of slowly waters your garden. You know what it reminds me of is basically a reverse Oya, which is the buried clay vessel. We've done a video on how to make your own that sort of seeps the water out yeah. underground. This sort of says, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. I'll use something off the shelf that I probably slammed last night when I was crying over a breakup. <laughs> and I'll toss it upside down. It's a good vacation technique. If you're gone for just a few days, you'll at least get a nice little buffer of watering for your plant. Absolutely. So it looks like we have some like weird pita breads here on our <laughs> cart, and this guy's gonna take it. Oh, Kangina with roots and ancient tradition. What's so, inside this though? Well, let's see, he's about to break it up. Okay, Oh. I actually have seen this before. Okay. It's really cool. And, and I think it's clay. So they take the clay, they make like a dish, put the grapes in there. Steal it. Make another dish, put it on top exactly. like a saucer. Exactly. Yeah. Now you created your own little like root cellar. Yeah. But I've only ever seen it with grapes. So I think this is legit, but I don't know if you can really do this at home. I don't think it's something I'm going to bust out at my house, but it is really cool. It's almost like a portable root cellar. Yeah. Because you've got a controlled environment. It's nice and cool probably. And they probably store it either underground or in a cold area. Absolutely. And the grape skin. I'd be curious if it was to work with something like an apple or yeah, something that maybe has a little bit more product. Like I don't think a pear you're gonna bust a Kangina out on. <laughs> the worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna get raisins. Yeah, so, well, yeah, it's not They so look bad. great. So, Very cool I'm, technique, I'm probably been used for hundreds, if not maybe even thousands of years. Okay, Jaga, ready on the <laughs> thumbnail? I'm out on this technique. So it looks like we've got a, uh, to cut a tomato in half. Some we've surgery. Cut, cut a grape in half, both a red and a green grape. That's down, interesting. Taking okay. a tomato seed and you fused both types of grapes together. That's probably like some <laughs> DNA exchange happening. <laughs> seven days. Okay. In seven days, you have a tomato. After 12 days, Oh, no, 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 no. The flowers are still hot. <laughs> okay, so that was that was on hyperspeed. So let's yeah. explain in this world what actually happened. A tomato seed was squished between two different types of grapes. Yep. Why that matters, maybe for the genetic mutation, we in don't really world, know yet. I mean, honestly, after that, until day 12, everything was all good. It's it was fine. just a tomato seed growing. I will say you're not going to get a tomato that I'm aware of that grows it's that fast. Insane. Yeah, I'd like to buy those seeds yeah. and stock them at our For seed sure. company, Botanical Interest, make sure to shop. So then on 15 days, you've got, you're right, the flowers behind that grape. They look grape. brand new. I'm, like they haven't even been fertilized or pollinated. Right, because, so the way a tomato works, guys, is it's gonna produce that yellow flower that then gets pollinated by itself. Both the male and female mm -hmm. parts are in the flower. It's a perfect flower, so to speak. And then the fruit will- Little green tomato. Little green tomato will come out of that fruit. So this is saying that somehow the genetics mutated and <laughs> yeah. a grape fruit is coming out. And both grapes <laughs> transferred into the seed. Both types of grapes. And then no tomatoes were formed, only grapes. O now. Only grapes, right. So, so clearly this is I'm fake. Interested. But I do have to say, it looks real. They like, spent a lot of time. Real. A lot of time gluing flowers to yeah. the grapes. <laughs> it's a zero out of 10, but yeah. it's actually a 10 out of 10 for cinematics. Yeah. I yeah. Don't try it at home, it won't work. Okay, back Whoa. to the world of sanity. Looks like we're farming ginger here. Whole Look at the density though. Yeah. The density they're planting that in, but it said young ginger. Okay. Right? And so that I think is the key to this tip because take a look at these stalks. They look really interesting. That is just basically sprouting out a single ginger plant. Yeah. Right? And Because so, normally, and actually in our most popular video of all time on the channel, we showed you how to grow ginger at home and we mentioned how it grows, right? It, it's a rhizome style plant, meaning underground stem chunks is what you're harvesting and they'll grow outwards like this. Absolutely. And that's how you really want ginger if yeah. it's mature. But it seems like what these folks are doing is they're just gr jamming it all together yeah. and letting it sprout once and they actually want the stem. And that's because like if you plant things too close together, you get less overall maybe, but you get more smaller ones. And yeah. In this case, Maybe they're selling baby ginger for more money. Yeah. So it totally makes sense. It's actually really clever, Jacques, the yeah. way they did it because- it's faster. If you look at the way they buried them, they're actually layered yeah. almost. They're, they're almost like staggered onto it, like stadium seating style. Yep. So I love studying these farming techniques. I mean, I'm half Asian. I love Asian culture. I love Asian farming techniques. And this one's just very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, you've seen these. I've I seen this not. in the wild. Not only did I see it, I saw it the day that it opened. God, they're so big. It is, and no joke, that stench, 
I've never smelled anything like it. The only time I ever smelled something that bad in my life was literally walking into the freezer in my high school cafeteria. I wanted to die in freezer? there. Yeah, I don't know why I was in there, but I was in there and I wanted to die. But this is actually fascinating. So the corpse flower is hands down one of the morphologically most interesting plants probably in the world. Yeah. I would say. Because so all of it is one thing, right? It's all one thing. So Whoa. it looks like a tree, right? When it's sprouting out. Yeah. It looks like a tree. It's actually not. That's actually one leaf. Right. So it, it has a trunk. And it looks like Dr. Seuss made <laughs> yeah. it. But the fascinating thing is in Sumatra, where it is native to, it opens and closes multiple times or it's fertile at different times because it has both mm. parts of the plant oh, on the same, it has the okay, male and female okay, okay. on that flower, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they open at separate times. Why? Because it needs to be crossed. Oh, it, it's not self-fertile. So then you have to ask yourself, how does it know? Because it's so far away from one yeah. another, you need a carrier to bring That's that pollen wild. back and forth. It's crazy, dude. And that's it why it's crazy. also strong, because it's trying to attract something. It's trying to get, it's like, it has that window. Yeah. You better be coming in. And why? <laughs> flies, like carrion flies. Yeah. That's the thing, because it smells like absolute garbage. And so here they have two flowers. They cut one open, took the pollen, and then cut a little window into this next one. Yeah, to And now they're putting the pollen in. Exactly. So that's really cool. So this is what they're trying to do now, because corpse flowers are relatively rare. They're trying that. to cultivate them in captivity and see how they can do like active breeding of that plant species. But if you ever have a chance to see a corp flower bloom, it is fascinating. I highly recommend you do it. All right. So infinite worm glitch here. Looks Ooh. like they got some buckets and they're talking about worms. Worms are great. I've never actually done a worm composting setup. Yeah. But I mean, here they're saying you could sell these worms. You can make tons of money because people, <laughs> I think you just ordered some worms. I just ordered some worms. I haven't done a bucket system in maybe three or four years now, but the guys at Acorn Land Labs are actually good friends of ours. Yeah, they do a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, they're doing this off-grid experiment. We just sponsored it. So check their channel out. They're going off-grid in 30 days. This is one of the many wow. systems that they'll put on, but it's it's a pretty classic worm yeah. bin. They're, they're doing a triple stacked bucket, which basically means that the worms will migrate up into the center and then you keep switching the right. top and bottom buckets out. As you add food, you move it. Yep. So that they keep eating it. Basically the bottom bucket always gets littered with the castings and the worms will crawl out of their own feces basically <laughs> up into the middle layer thus sorting themselves out it's and really you get cool. a bottom bucket of castings. And the castings so, are really good in the garden. Oh, it's definitely worth putting in. The thing about favorites. castings too, is you can't really overdo yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I like it's, it so It's much. very low on the NPK ratios, meaning you can just boom, dump it yeah. in and you're good. So great tip yeah. from the Acorn guys. And a fun guys. series, I would check it out for sure. Yeah. Okay, this is my kind of farming right here. I'm interested. <laughs> I, love I love everything about this. <laughs> It's so specific, like designed just for doing this probably. Yeah, so you've got one guy on the left, he's putting the actual grape plant in. Yep. You've got a guy on the right throwing the trellis or the stake down. You've got a guy in the super right giving the <laughs> yeah, other yeah. guy the stake itself. And then the machine is dumping it, just probably a bit of water, maybe a little perfect fertility amount. in there. The perfect amount. You look at this guy here. This is the hard day's work boomers talk about. They're just sitting. Trust me, bro. This is not yeah. the only thing these people do. You need to respect your farmers. Also, if you miss, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, I've seen this and I still don't believe that it works, Shock. Apparently, if you take a chicken, hold them down a little bit and then draw a straight line in front of them, it will hypnotize them and you can then let go and they'll kind of just flop there. Uh, but they don't seem asleep. They just seem like subdued in some uh, way. Yeah. I've never tried it because I've never felt the need I've, to hypnotize my chickens. I've never felt like I need that control over them I'm personally. willing to test it for science. I'm gonna try it on my chickens. We'll see what happens. Let's see. I'm gonna just steal one of Kevin's chickens and see if this actually works. You shouldn't have jumped for it. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna give that a maybe. <laughs> okay. This was this minority report. This looks absolutely crazy. So this is sort of an AI robotic company, it seems like, that is able to <laughs> suction so cup crazy. apples off of a tree. I don't like it. I don't like it, I have to say. To me, this is one of those things where it's like, we're human beings with arms and we can move. Why not just pick the apple off and call it a day? Like some things we don't need to invent. I don't know what your take is. My take is a little bit mixed. I don't like it because it feels bad. I yeah. don't like looking at it. I don't like looking at but it. But I'm like, if you are if you have an orchard, you have a lot of fruit, and it's too hot for people to go pick it, this could be a solution to reduce food waste. It could, so how much do you think that costs? Like it's gotta be cost like $2 know, million know, a unit. That's the thing. It's wild. It also seems I'm slow. I'm trying to be optimistic, but I don't like it at all. To be honest, Personally, if you, if you put it. a couple of my, my Filipino crew in this field, we will run that field down in no time. This robot has no chance. Yeah. All right, it looks like we're sifting a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Maybe it's like fruits? a big big uh, cylinder drum thing. Uh, worms? Those are worms. What is going on here? <laughs> I thought they were like filtering nuts. 
Yeah. But this is just worms. So I wonder what kind of worm that is. You know what I, you know, this. <laughs> I don't like it though. Here's my hot I don't take. like looking at it. You know the jumping worm, the Asian jumping worm that's oh. so, that's so debilitating and so destructive. Okay. What if they're able to filter that out of the ecosystem? I'm here for it. If that's what they're if doing. If that's what it is. I'm fine with that. Because that is a worm <laughs> that basically can reproduce and outcompete all other worm species. And it's, it's running wild in yeah. America. So if you're in the garden scene, that is a worm you do not want to see in your garden. You also <laughs> entirely eat all organic matter. Yeah. Entirely leaving your soil bare. Yeah. So this is interesting. If that's what they're capturing, I don't know. They're not moving I don't fast, know. but I don't know. it's a little creepy and a lot I want to stop watching it. Okay. Already on the first frame, <laughs> I hate this tip. Yeah. I hate it. I'm going to make a call. I think that's maybe onion roots at the bottom, like okay. fused in somehow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's give it a chance. Maybe it's real. Toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste. I'm already out. On the, okay. So first of all, let's just. Or immediately, it's toothpaste. Why? That makes no sense, right? But where'd they put it? On the the top of the tomato stem. Which is where the flower yeah, is coming was from. attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the flower was. So why? Okay. So why would that be where you put it? I don't know. Because I'm assuming they're going to say that the toothpaste is, is root hormoned on, but why would the roots be coming out of the top? Makes no sense. Right? No. Well, let's see which way they put Let it. Let alone the plethora of other issues with that. <laughs> So now they're going to put it. Oh, they do put it down. They put it face down. That, that doesn't even make sense. So they're doing a little water. Okay. Thank God they watered it. After 15 days alone. Okay. Oh my God, dude. Okay. No, no, no. All right, all right. So you know what? Again, the roots look real. They, they look real. They do look real. real. But I'm going to make the call. I think that's an onion root. Look at the weight. Look at the yeah, thickness of those roots. I think roots. you're right. I think they chopped off a green onion and stuck it in the bottom. And then just put a tomato. And put a tomato on the top. If you're new to gardening, don't feel bad if you fall yeah. for tricks like this. Seriously, I would have fallen for them 10 years ago, no problem. 100%. But explain why it doesn't work. So 15 days, that tomato would be run. Yeah. For sure, first yeah. off. There's hundreds of seeds in there. You'd probably want to bury them. They'd all come up and they definitely wouldn't be producing flowers this quickly. The truth is this technically works, but yeah. the way it's being shown is super misleading because I actually buried a tomato yeah. in, in a pot once, completely ripe, beautiful tomato, and it sprouted, to your point, hundreds of yeah. seeds, way smaller. You wouldn't have this weird thing where <laughs> yeah. somehow the tomato itself is perfectly un, undeterred, and then you've got this weird plant. root system coming out. So a funny tip, but does not work. Okay, looks like I'm saying we're growing rice here. Okay. Looks so like first off, they're they're just hand sowing seeds yeah. out into the patty, but then they're harvesting right now. Right, but there's not, that's not rice. No, 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 that's they're harvesting plant. and bunching. Oh, you know what's happening? They're harvesting and bunching the starts and they're gonna replant them, probably. Oh, uh, wow, that's a huge that's stack a of starts. of them. Okay, so they, that's heavy. That's really that's interesting. Oh yeah, so you look, so now they have another patty and they're chucking uh, the starts out. That's, that looks so fun, dude. It does. That oh, honestly okay. looks like a there vibe. Okay, so then they're, yeah, okay, this So they're sense. getting the spacing right. Yeah. They're growing it all densely to begin with, so they don't have any bare parts. Oh, no, there you go. Now they're harvesting. Nice. Now they're harvesting. Wow. Look at this. Okay, so the, I didn't know that's that cool. that's the way you did rice. Yeah, Initially, either. you seed it out in yeah. the patty, and then you use the starts and then respace them out. It's a, I guess that's the most efficient way to do yeah. it, right? Then you get the exact spacing you need, and mm -hmm. then you guarantee the harvest is oh, going to be good. Oh, that, that meal, looks though? Really good too, <laughs> that looks though. fire. <laughs> hey, we have a pond behind us, Jacques. You might see us growing epic rice here at the homestead pretty soon. We got to do it. Okay, I've seen this, yeah. and I have bricks, and I've been tempted a few times to try it. I'll say this. I have seen this as well around the internet. Not this yeah. video. Looks yeah, like some onions, one. some lettuce. I've seen big cabbages grow yeah. in these bricks. To me, I see no reason this shouldn't work. And actually, if you're in an urban environment Very like genius. you, you have a ton of Jacques garden is actually covered in brick. Yeah. Now you have a beautiful garden, but you could pop a brick open. Think oh, about yeah. it. It's just a, it's just a clay mulch. There's, there's so many reasons why this is great. Yeah. There's no weeds because there's no exposed soil. No weeds. The mulch is perfect. The water is never going to evaporate. You're never going to have to water it's, pretty much. It's honestly really great. And I, look at the way he's able it. to grow. He can yeah. make these beautiful patterns. I am obsessed with this method yeah. and I really want to do it at the home. It honestly looks like fun. Oh dude. No, I don't want to see this. <laughs> I already don't want to even watch this video. What the hell is this? A bunch I'm, of a bunch of bananas and dragon fruit. I mean, look, wait, I'm, look how big those dragon fruit are. I'm triggered, man. I'm so triggered. Okay, so let's, let's hit play and just cry our way through this. I think it's gonna be real. Get out of here, dude. So they're cutting a chunk out. What is that? Clay toothpaste? They're putting the stem end of a banana in. Now we've got an egg. Yeah. And then we've got a banana. Okay. Potassium maybe. Potassium and protein nutrients. and fats. Aloe. Rooting, Rooting hormone. hormone. Maybe. Semi-legit. You know what's crazy? It, this is like the Olympics of bad hacks. <laughs> They've took every bad hack and added them all into one to form like yeah. the Avengers of a bad hack. some coffee grounds in there. 
Okay, so now they've mixed that into the soil. The dragon fruit goes <laughs> the in whole. Thing whole. So dragon fruit has like 2,000 seeds in it. First yeah, of all. exactly. Okay, now they've, I mean, they're just covering it up. They're gonna, <laughs> why water it in? There's so much water in the banana and the dragon fruit. Okay, okay. what's gonna happen Give here? Give it a little squeeze. Magic. Hey. Okay, so is that even a banana? I don't, honestly, to you me. You know what? It kind of does look like one. It looks more like, like a, an agave that's like snuck out from the roots. <laughs> that like grows out in the soil randomly. Like a little pup or something. <laughs> and again, banana pristine. Looks like it hasn't been rotted for any amount of time. I've seen a banana that I've bought that I wanted to consume. Day yeah. of, look worse than that at the end of the same <laughs> After day. After being buried in the soil. <laughs> After being buried with in the dome soil. on top. Yeah, right. Dude. Okay, so here's what we've got going on. Oh, that dragon fruit looks They're digging good. it up. Uh, okay, again, honestly, it looks real. It looks convincing. Like, what's going to happen? To the confidence of a stage yeah. shot like this to just power wash the roots off. <laughs> clearly, know, we're attached on somewhere. somehow. I have to give them props for this. I feel like we should try to make one of these videos. <laughs> we should. <laughs> April Fool's. Yeah, You'll see it soon for it. us. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Dude, that banana is looking oh, really fresh. Oh, so that was just the start. Yeah, we now just, plant this in the soil. Why not just plant it in the soil in the first no, place? No, come on. You need those roots, that root shot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All AI. Okay. okay, I don't think we even need to explain why this one's wrong. Zero out of a thousand. Hopefully you had some fun in this video. We love doing these reacts. It's so fun to see all the different ways that people can plant stuff. Hopefully you learned something. Stay tuned. Check out some of our other reaction videos. Make sure to shop our store for the best gardening gear on the internet. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.